mathematics learners welcome to distance learning with lee where i make learning mathematics super easy on today's video tutorial we are still under the topic of financial documents and in today's video tutorial guys we are going to be analyzing a till slip right and it's before we even get started it's very important that we know what a till slip is guys and a till slip is a financial document that you get after doing you're shopping at a supermarket or at a shop, right? So you'll get a till slip after buying your groceries at ShopRite, Pick and Pay, Checkers. You'll get a till slip after also buying clothes at Mr. Price, at Pip, at the Fix, right? You will receive a till slip after doing your shopping, right? And then what does a till slip um, contain, right? A till slip contains a list of all the items that you have bought as well as the prices of those items, right? It shows you how much that you how much you've paid um, for that and it also shows you the items where that was basically um, where you were basically exempted from paying that or items where you didn't pay that right so that is basically what a till slip is before we get started with the video tutorial guys please make sure that you've basically taken a screenshot of this till slip right so that we can follow together as we go through the video tutorial so please take a screenshot of this page as well as this page that has all the questions okay then after you've basically taken a screenshot look at the till slip look at the question attempt the questions on your own once you've attempted the questions on your own guys play the video tutorial and basically follow with me to see if you've basically understood everything that you were supposed to understand that is the most effective way that you guys are going to learn and basically remember things for your tests and your exams try it on your own once you've tried the question on your own then play the video tutorial and follow with me right so it's going to be like a classroom um environment even though it is online okay before we get started with the video tutorial guys please make sure that you have subscribed to the channel please make sure that you've clicked on that notification bell so that you get notified every single time a video tutorial drops and also please don't forget to give this video tutorial a huge thumbs up because that really helps the channel grow and it helps the channel reach more learners that want to better their mathematics marks right so without any further ado guys let's get started with today's video tutorial <music> So like I mentioned guys, in today's video tutorial, we are going to be analyzing this till slip, right? So let's just have a look at what is given to us, right? So this is a till slip that was issued at Broadway supermarket, right? So this person went to do um, his or her shopping at Broadway supermarket, right? And this is basically what they bought from Broadway supermarket, right? They bought a carry bag, right? And it cost them 0.36 cents. They bought apple juice and the apple juice cost them 8.99. And please take note of this hashtag that is put there. They bought a cola, right? 340 mils. It cost them 2.99. Okay. They bought letter, um, lettuce heads crisp, which was 7.99 rand tomato. Our um, more English tomatoes for 15 rand 99 and then the board fortified drinks right um, which is 500 grams for 38 rand 0.95 but please note here it says item void right so they basically did an item void for the fortified drink of 500 grams take note of that right we want to discuss what that item void means okay they bought butter, 500 grams, for 24 rand 99. They bought one brinjals, right, for 8.82 rand. They bought one hickory ham, which is 125 grams, for 21 rand and 99. They bought one lamb lion chops for 37 rand and 23 cents. And they bought one long French bread, right, for 4 rand and 49 cents. Okay. 
So these items are very cheap, right? Okay. Um, and then we are told here. So this is basically the amount that the customer had to pay after they've basically included the vet, right? Then the customer uses a used a bank card to basically pay for all these um grocery items and then they did some rounding so they minus 0.03 cents and this is basically the number of items that this client or customer bought from broadway supermarket right then they told us that the vet included is calculated or charged at 14 percent right so this is the amount of vet that um this customer paid so they paid 12 rand and 89 cents and we also told her that there are zero rated items right that are marked with a hashtag so we are soon to find out what zero rated items are and we're also given the vet registration number of broadway supermarkets so we can see that the broadway supermarket is a company that is basically tax compliant it's a company that pays its tax right and then we are given the date in which this customer went to Broadway supermarkets to go buy his or her groceries. And they went to Broadway supermarkets on the 27th of December 2011. No wonder the things are so cheap because it was 2011, right? And the time in which the items were paid for was at quarter to one, right? 12.45, which is quarter to one. So this is basically what this till slip is telling us, right? Very crucial things that are happening in this till slip, right? So what is important here that is going on? We've got the fortified um, drink of 500 grams, right? That was basically voided. What does that mean? The customer decided that they're not going to take that fortified to drink anymore. So then they voided the, uh, the item. So they basically deducted that item from the grocery list. So that obviously to show that the customer decided to not take um, that drink anymore. Right. So that is basically what is um told to us we are also told that the vat is calculated at 14 percent. so anywhere where we have to calculate vat guys please note that the vat is charged at 14 percent right all right guys so these are the questions please make sure that you've basically taken a screenshot of these questions because they will come in handy also when you're practicing for your test and for your exams right so let's have a look at the first question. Study the till slip and use it to answer the questions that follow. What symbol does the Broadway supermarket use to identify goods that are exempt from that? Okay, so what does the word exempt mean, right? So it's items that are not included when VAT is calculated, right? So what is the symbol that um, the Broadway supermarket uses to identify the items where you do not pay uh, VAT for, right? So let us have a look, okay? So what we can see here is that the Broadway supermarket uses the hashtag sign to indicate items where you don't have to pay that why do i know that because at the bottom of the till slip you see that it says that zero rated items are marked with a hashtag right and just also a bit of info when it comes to items that you don't have to pay vet for right we know that vet is charged on all goods and services right However, what is important for us to note is that VAT is not charged on basic food stuff or in the context of tail slips when you do your grocery shopping, right? You need to note that VAT is not charged on basic food stuff like your brown bread, your maize meal, your samp, your dried mealies, your lentils, your pilchard, your tin pilchards or your sardines, your milk powder, your rice, your vegetables, your fruits, your vegetable oil, your milk and your veggies, right? They won't charge you vet on your fruits and your veggies and your milk and your eggs and your lentils and your sardines, your tin, fi uh, your tin fish, you know, your brown bread and so on, right? So you're not going to be charged vet 
on that right so in this case just to answer the question that we were asked right what symbol does broadway supermarket use to identify goods that are exempt from VAT, we know that the Broadway supermarket basically uses the hashtag or the hash symbol. Okay, and the hash symbol looks like that. Okay, let's go on to the next question. Explain the term item void entry, right? So I already gave you an example where you might have heard the word void when you're doing your shopping, right? You'll find that you decided that you're not going to take your Omo washing powder anymore, right? You want to remove it from your list of items that you've basically uh, bought, right? And you'll find that the teller will go void, right? Then the store manager, whoever is assigned to help with void comes and they deduct that item um, from your grocery list, right? So the term void basically means that the client decided or the customer decided not to take the item after it was scanned. So the item had to be deducted from the list. Right, so let's write that down. Right, next question. How much is the total bill and how does the rounding affect it, right? Okay. So at this point, we basically need to calculate the total bill without adding the VAT, right? So what is the bill that the customer basically pays or should pay before VAT is included, right? So we need to go back to our till slip. And what we're going to do is we are going to add all these items together, okay? To get what the total bill is, right? before the vet was included okay so let's do that so what you're going to do you're going to take your calculator right you're going to punch in 0 0.36 plus 8.88 plus 2.99 plus 7.99 plus 15.99 Okay, we are not going to add the 38.95. Why? Because it was already, it was removed from our list of items, right? That negative 38.95 basically shows us that it was removed. Ne? Then we're going to add the 24.99. Then we're going to add the 8.82 plus 21.99 plus 37.23 plus 4.99. Four, nine, right? So if you add all those items together, right, what do you get? All right. You'll find when you add all those items together, you will see that the customer basically the bill or the up uh, the bill amounts to 133 Rand and 84 cents. Okay. So how much is the total bill, right? So how much is the total bill before the VAT has been included, right? So like I mentioned, you basically add up all the prices of the items, right? And when you add up all the prices of your items, you'll find that the total bill is 133.84 cents before the vet was basically included right and then they also ask us here how does the rounding affect it right in the till slip if you basically go to your till slip here right we see that okay this is basically the amount the 146 rand and 73 cents is the amount that the customer basically pays after the vet was included right but the, the amounts that we have basically calculated right so this is the amount before that i'm gonna write that down here 
Okay, so before that, we basically calculated, right, that the bill is 133 rand and 84 cents, right? Okay, and then after the VAT was calculated, the client or the customer had to basically pay, right, 146 rand point seven three. But when they swiped with their bank card, they only swiped 146 rand and 70 cents, right? So they didn't, the client or the customer didn't pay 0 0.03 since why is that right how does the rounding affect the bill that the customer basically has to pay right and basically wait guys what we know is the customer in this case paid 133 rand in this case 133 rand and 80 cents before that because one cents two cents three cents four four cents right are no longer legal for like trading right you can't uh, buy something for one cent two cent three cents right so that is why the customer basically pays 133 uh, rand and 80 cents right before the vet was included because the supermarket basically absorbs the three cents since the one cents and two cents coins are no longer legal for um tender right so that is why in this case the customer only paid 133 rand and 80 cents okay so this is the a part of the question okay and the b part how does the rounding affect it all right so how does the rounding affect it we can see that the supermarket basically minus three cents because your one cents two cents right your three cents are no longer legal tender right so that is why the customer just ended up pay, uh, paying 133 rand and 80 cents before your vet was included okay let's go on to the next question calculate the total for all the items on which VAT is charged, right? So in this question, guys, we are going to have a look at the items. We're going to have a look at the items in which the customer basically has to pay VAT for, right? And we are going to look at the items that do not have that hash symbol, right? Sign after them, right? He paid VAT for your carry bag, your plastic, right? He paid that, right? Your apple juice, he didn't pay that for that. He paid that for your cola. So you're going to add that as well. Your two rand and 99. He paid that for, remember guys, your, um, the ones that have your hash um, sign on them, that means that they didn't pay that, right? He paid that for your butter, right? So that's your 24.99. He's also going to pay that for your hickory ham. Okay, he's going to pay that for your lamb lion chops. And he's also going to pay that for your long fresh bread, right? Okay, long fresh bread. Okay, I know when I started the video, I said that you do not pay that for items like your brown bread. Yeah? But in terms of the long fringe bread, it's like a luxury. It's not your, um, your, your normal brown bread but it's like a more of like a luxury type of a bread so he is going to be paying that for that okay so we're going to add up all these items 0 0.36 plus 2.99 plus 24.99 plus 21.99 plus 37.23 plus 4.49 right because these are all the items that he will have to basically pay that for right okay so to get the total of all the items in which he will pay VAT for, we are literally just going to add up all these items that I've basically mentioned here. Ninety two rand and zero five cents, right? So if you punch that into your calculator, you will see that the prices where the items in which he needs to pay VAT for amounts to ninety two point zero five cents. Cool stuff. Next question: Show how you arrive at the total VAT 
figure of 12 rand and 89 cents. So how did they calculate that VAT amount, right? So we're going to go to our till slip, all right? And then what do we notice here at the bottom of our till slip? We are told that the VAT is basically charged at how much? 14%, right? So uh, because we've already calculated the price of the items in which the customer needs to basically pay your VAT for, right? You're going to take that 92 Rand and 05 cents and calculate how much would be 14% VAT of those items, right? So that is exactly what we want to do, okay? We found that the items in which the customer needs to pay VAT for, they amounted to 92 Rand and 05 cents, right? And we basically want to show how they got to the 12.89 cents, right? That they showed us there at the bottom of the till slip, right? So how did they get to that VAT amount? They took that 92 Rand and 05 cents and they multiplied it by 14% or you can just say 92 rand and 05 cents. You multiply it by 14 divided by 100. And if you punch that into your calculator, you will find that you will get that 12 rand and 80, uh, 12 rand and 80 eight or 89 cents or if you just punch that into a calculator you'll find that you get 12.887 right but we can round it off to two decimal places right and we, we and when we round off to your two decimal places guys you look at your third digit after your comma and if that number is five or above five then you need to round the number before it up Right, so in this case, it'll be 12 rand and 89 cents, right? So the final answer is 12 rand point 89. So that is how they basically got to the figure of 12 rand 89. They took the items in which the cat or the customer needs to pay VAT for, they added all the prices up, and then they basically calculated how much would 14% VAT B for those items. So if you take 92.05 and you multiply it by 14%, you'll get 12 rand 0.89 cents when you run that off to two decimal places. Cool stuff. Next question. Explain how the due VAT included was calculated, right? So they basically want us to show how they calculated this amount here. That's due VAT included, right? So the due VAT included amount is the amount that basically the customer has to pay after the VAT was included, right? How did they get the due VAT included, right? So they, they took the price of the items before VAT. And remember, we calculated that price before that to be in question three right we calculated the price to be 133 rand and 84 cents right so if you add up all the grocery items together right you will get 133 rand and 84 cents right that is just the amount that you get before adding your vet right and then when we add our 14 percent vet guys what did i say we do we basically look at the items in which we don't have that hash um, symbol on, right? And those items are the items in which we need to pay VAT for. We added up all those items. After adding up all those items, remember, we got 92 Rand and 05 cents. And then we calculated what is 14% of that 92 Rand and 05 cents. And we found that the 14% of that 92 Rand and 05 cents is 12 rand and 89 right so the amount that was before vet is 103 133 rand and 84 cents right and the 14 percent vet amount is 12 rand and 89 cents and when we add these two amounts together 
we get what the total amount that the customer needs to pay after the VAT has been included, right? Okay, so when you punch these two numbers into your calculator, you will get that you get 146 Rand and 73 cents, right? So that is how the due VAT included was calculated. Okay, cool stuff. Next question. What does 27 slash 12 slash 11, 12 colons, actually colons 45 represent, right? So this is basically, I'm, I'm just going to go back to the till slip, right? So they're asking us what this 27 slash 12 slash 11 means and this 12 colon 45 means, right? So this is basically the date in which the customer went to go buy items at Broadway supermarket, right? And this 1245 is basically the time that the customer paid for these items. So this is the date that the customer went to go buy the items. And this is the time in which the customer paid for the items, okay? Okay, so in other words, the customer basically paid for the items at quarter to one, right, on the 27th of December 2011, right? So that is what that represents. Next question, what is the VAT, um, what is the VAT? registration number okay so we know when we go to the bottom of your till slip right okay we were given the vet registration number of the company right and the vet registration number of the company is obviously three four five zero one six eight eight two one right but then what does this number represent i think you know this question was not clear okay Okay, we, I mean, a person could say, what was the VAT registration number? And a person could just answer, um, the VAT registration number was 34501688821. What is it? That is what the VAT registration number is, right? I think additionally, the question is supposed to ask, what does the VAT registration number represent? I think that was going to be clear because the memo just said, uh, basically goes into us explaining what the VAT registration number represents, right? And so to basically answer the question, what does the VAT registration number represent? The VAT registration number basically means that Broadway Supermarket is a registered um, 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 supermarket with SARS, right? And they're basically compliant with the South African tax, uh, tax law, right? So if you see that VAT registration number at the bottom of your till slip, now we know that, okay, that company, okay, or that shop, right, is registered with SARS and they're actually compliant with the SA tax law, right? So what is the VAT registration number? It is that number. What does the VAT registration number mean, right? It basically means that the supermarket is registered with SARS and it actually is a uh, compliance with the SA tax laws, right? All right. Okay, and then that is basically the final question for this example, right? In the next video tutorial, guys, we are going to be looking into quotations, right? What is a quotation? What does it mean, right? When do you get a quotation and stuff like that, right? How do you calculate things like maybe a discount, the deposit amount, uh, amount excluding VAT, the VAT amount as well. So as you can basically see in financial documents, most of the time, guys, we are calculating VAT. 
right? We're calculating red, right? So at this point, right, after the previous video tutorials, the two video tutorials that I've uploaded on your bank statements and your toe slips, you should be able to calculate um, your VAT at this point, right? So this is basically what we're going to be looking at in the next video tutorial, guys. Please make sure that you are subscribed to the channel. Please make sure that you've also clicked on that notification bell so that you do not miss any video tutorial, guys, when it drops, right? And I hope you guys enjoyed this video tutorial. I hope I explained everything in detail. And I hope it wasn't too long, but when it comes to obviously mathematics literacy, it's all about explaining the terms. It's all about diving deeper into everything so that you guys understand exactly what is going on. We cannot just brush on top. So I hope you guys basically enjoyed that. And I will see you guys on my next video tutorial. That is it, guys. And I'll see you guys on my next upload, Distance Learning with Lee, where I make learning mathematics super easy. Bye, guys.